Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fashionation, and look what I got today. So we're here for two things. Basically, it's this is not the basic part of that. It's what I have in my bowl. Oh, yum. What am I eating today for my dinner? Oh my gosh. So since I didn't have... Um, any food in the house, and my friend kindly stopped at the Acme, and um, I told him I wouldn't be long. I already know what I'm going to grab, and if I can't find the one thing, then I'll grab something else that's really quick but nutritious at the same time. This is a frozen General Tso's chicken. You're thinking, oh my God, that virus is going around, and you're thinking Chinese food. Well, it's cooked at home. This is all from America. So, yeah. Um, it already comes with the chicken. Mm. And I had some bean noodle. So, I added the bean noodle in with this with a few drops of sesame oil. Oh my gosh, you would think, you would think you've gone to the best Asian restaurant ever. I love eating out of this bowl. I have no idea why. It just seems to be my bowl. Mm. And if I don't eat it all, I can just put it in the refrigerator and save the rest for tomorrow. But this has the chicken. It has broccoli. And to be specific, it's chopped a broccoli. <laughs> if you've ever seen Dana Carvey do his thing about the lady that does the chopped broccoli. Um, and, but I thought maybe adding the bean noodle to it would give all this, because it's a stir fry, a little extra ambiance, and absolutely, then while I was cooking it, I was like, ooh, sesame oil. Mmm. So... Tomorrow, if I'm lucky, tomorrow I will make beef enchiladas, my homemade beef enchiladas. So, lucky at the store, they happen to have very thinly cut. Um, oh my gosh, that's so good! I don't want to stop eating it. Um, Very thin cut ribeye. And no, I don't cook with salt. Sorry for the disaster behind me. <laughs> um, and an update on the, the McCall's Vogue thing. My pattern will be here Monday. They confirmed it. Um, so... This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I gotta do something real quick. Besides, <laughs> so I got a text message from, let's see, he had from Rocco. He had, he had chicken nuggets and a coffee with a huge chocolate chip cookie for breakfast in the Key, Key West this morning. That's why the chickens were following me. <laughs> well, those chickens there got a little too close to Rocco. They certainly did. <laughs> 
and Key West, they're everywhere. Although I can say that their roosters are a lot thinner than the ones here. As you can see, Rocco's looking pretty good for his retirement. <laughs> Down in the Keys, wearing his Ron John shirt. Excuse me, I picked that shirt out for him. I think it looks pretty spiffy. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but I think that shirt looks pretty darn spiffy on him. Oh, oh yeah, that's still loading. Um, and thank goodness, too, because I was worried about that. I have something loading on Instagram. But, uh, yeah, don't think that you can't eat healthy on a budget. That's not actually true. Um, I don't cook with salt, like I said. Huh. No salt, BP. You'd be proud of me. Um, I was having a little chest pain yesterday. But then I drank some water, and I think I'm fine. But I have a cardiology appointment this month. But, um, this is the General So's. I have to see which brand it is. Um, cook it at home. It comes with the sauce packet, which you thaw out, and put it in the pan. And this actually didn't have a lot of sodium. You would think it would, but no. Um, for something that's a low sodium, it's pretty darn good. Plus, Adding the sesame chicken or the sesame oil into this gives it an abundance of flavor. I'm just like, oh, plus the spices from the general so Why, whatever is going around, I'll be eating spices. And if you didn't know, spices are not just good for your digestive. And your your heart, your stomach, um, diabetics generally eat a lot of spice. It helps to manage the diabetes. If you didn't know this, I used to be diabetic, and um, my diabetes went away with a controlled diet. Absolutely. Control your diet and diabetes goes away. Well, I think diet is kind of in diabetes. Kind of sounds like it. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm going to eat this. This is lovely. Oh, I love my new glasses. I mean, my other ones are good too, but I think I like these better. No. Oh. Now, I do have some makeup on, but let's see how they look with my hair down. As you guys know, I don't generally wear my hair down, but I will on occasion. La. Eh, they look fine with my hair down. I've gotten into this habit of like keeping this one ear uncovered. Because, I don't know, I've done that for a while. And just like, I sweep my hair over. <laughs> or I'll just go like this and just like put it like that and tucked behind my ear. Hey, that look works too. Oh, I wonder how it's going to look with my braids for the powwow this year. Ooh, these will work out for that. Beautiful glasses. I like the design on the side. I like the colors. Yes, I did line my eyes. Um, so, yeah, I'm not mad at that. And, um, you know, once I have that pattern, because you guys know that there's my dress form. Manny Quinn. 
So I had actually bought some buttons before I had talked to McCall's. I should say Vogue. They switched it down to Vogue. Um, I went to the Hobby Lobby and got some assortment of buttons and a new pair of scissors for cutting fabrics only. So I'll use the blue ones for paper and the pink ones for fabric. That works. Um, absolutely. So, basically what I have on Manny Quinn is a mock-up of what I'll actually be making. And I have to thank you, Fabric Mart, for extending the time for the Yellow Dress Challenge. Um, you're beautiful people. I really, like, I care about Fabric Mart a lot, and... Their customer service and how they actually care about people. Um, oh my gosh, you guys are so great. I can't wait to go up there in May. You know, I'd like to see them do a, um, a YouTube, you know, like sewing community meet and greet where we're all the, you know, the ones that actually shop there actually show up. Like myself, Viv Mom, Angela Clayton, we shop there. Um, and whichever YouTube channels actually shop Fabric Mart, um, show up and do a meet and greet. And everybody gets to know each other and maybe give each other a few sewing tips. And, and maybe even wear a garment that you've made that you're comfortable with. Angela has made some really cute garments from Vogue patterns, old simplicity patterns. And when I mean old, I mean like they're from the 50s. Oh my gosh, and older. She has done beautiful work with these. And so, yeah, I would love to see that. Um, and when I get my pattern, of course, you know, let me know in the comments below if you think I should wait to get my pattern to finish off what's on my dress form. Just leave that in the comments. I'll wait a couple of days, get back to that, and see what happens because the only thing I think I will do is hand stitch just around the bottom. Just around the bottom. Look, I already know that the waist is too big for me, and I did that on purpose. Um, and the bodice is also too big on me, but I did that on purpose. Just not the sleeve holes. The sleeve holes are perfect. I mean, they're a little bit big, but they're actually perfect. So leave it in the comments below if you want to see me recut the bodice and uh, go with the rest of this. And I will definitely bring you on that journey. But meanwhile, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And remember, you too can eat healthy on a budget. Don't think you can't. Oh my gosh. There was enough there for like three, possibly four people. Yeah. And if you have other people that you have to feed. Add the bean noodle in there. Let that cook up. Because I let it steam. I let everything steam. Oh, just sitting there letting it marinate. Oh, my goodness, more flavor. You're, you're like in flavor town heaven with this. Um, yeah, you can't really see that too good. Um, may not look too good on camera, but I'll tell you what. Bean noodle and rice noodle are my jam. Well, it comes down to this. Mm hmm And the spices. I don't think 
gonna have to worry about virus because obviously it's clearing out the sinus passage and so I'm not gonna have to worry about that okay now as for that virus going around you guys know I don't normally do this my oldest child and his family are in quarantine right now they took a cruise and now they're in quarantine um could you do me a favor and just like ooh, keep them in your thoughts because that's a very scary thought even though he doesn't talk to me my youngest son did let me know and um that his big brother is in quarantine with his three nephews and with his sister-in-law so um it it is very scary my son should have known better um because he's a law enforcement and he should have known better um well both of my sons are law enforcement but still he should have known better and he should have got his money back it's better to get your money back or lose that amount of money rather than lose your life. It, it's common sense. So, anyway, like I said, I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. <clears throat> and, don't forget, in the comment section below, let me know... If you want to wait for that pattern to come in for me to finish my mock-up or not. And that way I have two different mock-ups. And of course, you know, wearable mock-ups. I just have to choose some fabric from all my fabrics. And um, go ahead with the... And they have it as Vogue now. They don't even have it down as McCall's on their website. So, okay, even Viv Mom, if you shop with McCall's online, they have changed their website. So you have to reset your password. That's what I was told on the phone today. But I was forced to just make a whole new account. I don't know. They had that messed up. They're supposed to call me soon to fix it. Excuse me, to fix it. Because I did get an email saying that it was just processed. But then I called them and they're like, No, <sighs> the spices from that. <laughs> well, I'm not going to have to worry about no virus. No, seriously, um... Spices also kill airborne bacteria, if you didn't know. You do now. And that's why I put horseradish and balsamic vinegar in my healing soup. Kills the airborne bacteria, people. Alright, so I will see you guys later. And have a blessed day. I'm trying to get the mouse to react. Okay, see you later.